Macron wants to go to war with Putin. France and Russia are preparing for a bloody war. French politician Marine Le Pen has accused President Emmanuel Macron of wanting to go to war with Russia in an interview with France Info. The three-time presidential candidate said that Macron's recent remarks on sending NATO trainers to Ukraine and allowing Kiev to use Western-supplied weapons to strike certain targets in Russia risk turning the current conflict into the next world war. Le Pen's comments come amid intense discussions in the West on how far into Russia Kiev should be allowed to strike using Western long-range weapons. Macron weighed into the discussion, opining that NATO should allow Ukraine to neutralize military sites inside Russia from which Ukraine is being attacked, even if they are far behind the front line. Le Pen slammed the idea, arguing that it creates the risk of a global conflict. Le Pen said that the French leader's views led her to conclude that Emmanuel Macron wants France to dive headfirst into war with Russia. The right-wing politician said that she extremely firmly opposes his positions, which could create an absolutely staggering danger for France. Le Pen previously accused Macron of playing politics with war and hijacking the Ukraine conflict for his electoral agenda. She has consistently opposed plans to admit Ukraine into NATO and the EU, place economic sanctions on Russia and to deliver heavy weapons to Kiev. Earlier, NATO's Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg announced that several of the bloc's nations had never placed any restrictions on Kiev's use of Western weapons. Reports also emerged that the US, which had previously not allowed Ukraine to deploy American arms outside of what Washington recognizes as Ukrainian territory, had granted permission to use its systems to target certain parts of Russia. The reports were confirmed by Ukrainian leader Vladimir Zelensky's office, which said that Limited strikes are now allowed against direct threats to the Kharkov region, where Russian troops have recently made significant gains. The Defense Forces of Ukraine, jointly with the Security Service of Ukraine, have conducted a several days long operation of destroying the supply routes for the Russian troops in temporarily occupied Crimea. Early reports say a complex strike on substations and power supply networks was launched, as well as on the stocks of light oil products in Russia's Krasnodar Krai. At first, the defense forces launched a missile attack on two ferries that headed to the Kavkaz port and were used for the purpose of military logistics of the Russians. Then the security service of Ukraine drones struck the substations, which supplied the Crimean Peninsula and the water area of the Kerch Strait, including ports, with energy directly. On 30-31 May at night, the security service of Ukraine, jointly with the Ukrainian Navy, launched a strike on a transfer tank farm in the Kavkaz seaport. Light oil products were sent to Crimea through it. After an efficient operation, a massive blaze broke out, which could be visible even from the satellite.